What up, good people? It's Nicolasa, and today is Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. So Tuesday, the the fifth, I think. Yes. And I have in front of you my latest Macari purchase. I don't think I'm going to be keeping this. I did a little research after I hit the buy it now button, and um, it's a beautiful bag, but it's probably going to be too small for me. So this is called the uh, Louis Vuitton Marais right? Um, it doesn't sound like that. So I had to kind of go out and try to figure out how to pronounce it. So it's the La, it's named after a district in um, Paris. So it's called uh, Le Marais. That's the district in Paris, right? This bag came in two sizes. It came in the BB and it came in the MM. I happened to pick up the BB and um, I think it's going to be, yep, a little too small for me. Okay. So just kind of getting in here and showing you. This is the bag I was talking about when I said I was going to be sharing a very rare bag with you guys. Um, this came out, don't get me to lying. Um, let me get in here and find out when it came out. I have no idea. Um, the BB size is probably going to be a little too small for me. So we'll see though. Okay, let's get all the tape off, which is part of you watching right <laughs> all the bubble wrap it's wrapped nicely though um and it the handles are out but it comes in a what goes around comes around bag a uh, dust bag rather this is the la more um in the bb size and it's a louis vuitton and as you can see it's got a few tiny little mentions which are going to be darkening of the vaqueta on this side and then I think there's another spot yep right where the tab is on the tab there's like a watermark there not too concerned about that at all um, and or this because it's really just where I'm just looking at it now to see and at the bottom you have four five feet so a foot a little tiny foot on each corner and then a foot in the center to protect the bottom which I like the BB size is 11.4 by 7.1 by 6.7. So I think this little thing is little, but it packs a punch only because um, it is wide. So it reminds me a little bit of the, so if I do like this, it's pretty wide. Um, it probably will fit the exact amount that a Speedy would fit, perhaps. I don't know. Um, I don't carry a lot, so this might work for me, but what I probably won't like is this because I'm not like this I'm not small but also I just don't like holding things in my arm um other than my speedy this is like a bowling bag type of structure and in fact it is the re a revamp of a bowling bag with Louis Vuitton um the mm size has three rows of lv on the front so that's how you can always tell if it's mm versus the bb but this one, as you can see, has four LVs on the front, four LVs on the back, and it has three compartments, and the compartments are lined with the Alcantara lining, which I'll get to in just one second. Um, the MM size is a little bit bigger, 15.7 by 9.4 by 7.9. The BB, which is this one, retailed for $2,100. The MM retail for $2,200, and it only came in these two sizes, and the other print would have been an emprunt leather. So it came in emprunt leather in a few different colors um, that I've seen. Um, so I don't know all of them, but it did not come in the Damier Azur or Damier Aben. So as you see on the interior, you do have the Alcantara lining. I have my Louis Vuitton um, patch here, and I do have... <clears throat> excuse me some receipts so the original receipt is inside I'm gonna take a look at that um, looks like it was purchased at Dillard's gotta see um very clean interior very spacious interior and I know there's only like a couple videos and on the one video the woman was saying she has the emprunt one she was saying how heavy it can get um, and I would imagine that it could get heavy just because it's leather and then you have these three sections. These three sections can probably fit a lot on the interior. But that's the Moray. Let's see what the um, price was and let's see the date really because that's probably when it came out. So 
so let's see it is from okay so it's from um what goes around comes around so and it was purchased in 20 the date code is 2013 so 2013 do have the receipt <clears throat> excuse me and the original receipt from dillard's looks like it was 1900 dollars and that looks like that was in 2019 so that's amazing as i do have that receipt here and the little tag so yep so 1850 with what goes around comes around 1900 with taxes yes so very nice all right i can include that um i do plan on probably co um consigning this only because i did not know I, first of all when i saw this i was like oh my gosh add to cart add to cart without even knowing what it was because i had never seen this style and it was authenticated so i was like all right i like it you know it's authentic i don't know what it is but give it to me so i put it in my cart and while i did while i put it in my cart i ran out to the internet and started searching i couldn't find it initially like what this was and then i finally found um a few sites that had a picture of this and and then it went from there so i went ahead and purchased it excuse me and but as it was being shipped to me, I was like, you know what? You're probably not going to want to keep that bag at all just because of the size. But she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. I'm going to clean her up just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and probably kind of think about whether I want to um, add her to my permanent collection or not. So some things are added. Some things are not. Okay. You just can't. You never know. All right, you guys. If you want to see more or what fits inside of this lovely baby, um, I would, in fact, give me one second. I'll do that now rather than create another video. Hold on. I actually have some things like available right now. I have a Clements wallet. So as you guys know, that's considered a full size wallet. Um, although it's not <clears throat> as tall as your zippy organizer. I also have a key clay. In the Damia Azure, of course, of course, of course, that fits inside, no issue. And I'm gonna try to put that inside. My Clements is having a little bit of an issue fitting on the interior um, pocket, but it goes, I believe, in the center with no issue. Yep, so it also has a D ring on the interior. So there it is on the interior. It fits a Clements and it also fits some other things, probably with no problem. Here's a cell phone. This is the iPhone 13. Um, so let's put that inside. There also is a little slip pocket on that side. You have plenty of room. So I have three things inside. She's she's decent, but she's not heavy yet. Not yet. I do have an A6 um, Codex from Vanderspeck. Let's see if we can put this on the inside. I doubt it. I doubt it very seriously, but we're going to try. Okay. Ah! lie to you I'm always lying to you why I always lying to you all right that fits inside with no issue so a6 fits inside no issue all right I still can zip her up with no problem this bag either folds down on the sides or it can go out on the sides which make it that bowling ball type shape bowling ball bag shape so it's really pretty. It does fit all of those things with no issue. I don't even carry that much. I carry a wallet, a makeup bag, and like um, keys and some other stuff. But I try to keep uh, what I carry in my bag to a, a minimum. So there she is loaded. I'm holding her with one hand. Not too bad. She's really cute for like date night, um, concerts, whatever. There's two zippers on here that meet in the center. So really pretty, just like a bowling bag. So really, really, really pretty and spacious, even though she's small. All right, you guys, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if there's something you want to see me do. I will be back with you in a couple of days showing you my Gucci. I have ventured out into Gucci now. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Again, like, subscribe, comment down below.